Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanaliza Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another set of exhibition matches for you, starting off with a game between Kshatriya and Snuggle Base. Kshatriya, I don't think I've shown before. If I have, it's not been very often. Snuggle Base, however, I've shown plenty of matches of recently, but they've been playing a lot recently, so I guess that's that's what's there. A lot of Snuggle Base matches. So starting off in Living Lands, which is Basically Deadlands. I mean, I've shown this map before. It's Deadlands, but not dead, and without anything in the center. So a bit more focus on the edges, as it should be. Shatria going for Clickabot Factory, while Snugglebase is going for the Spiderbot Factory, which I find interesting. Last time I played this map, I also went Spiders, and it worked out rather well. But then again, I was playing against someone who probably didn't know how to deal with Spiders. Shatria, however, is, I think, 1800 or so LO. So they're probably well equipped to deal with spiders. Snuggle base setting up fleas around the map. A few on the cliffs. What I like to do when I'm playing spiders is to set up as many fleas as I can along cliffs. Like especially around here and around here, like by all of these metal spots. That way workers come along, get to those areas, start building metal extractors, and if they're careless, they get fleas hitting them. And if they're too careful, then you can out expand them because they're busy building static defenses rather than building more expansions. But at this point, Snuggle Base has pretty much the entire perimeter of Kshatriya's base scouted out permanently. Or near permanently. Not completely permanently, but pretty close to. And Kshatriya, without radar... Neither player actually having radar at this... No, never mind. Snuggle Base does on their constructor, because that's what constructors do. Spider constructors have radar. But Kshatriya does not, so Kshatriya has no idea when the fleas are moving around before they burrow, where they are. Nor do they necessarily know where. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Nor do they necessarily know where the fleas are to begin with. Like they don't have any idea, let alone whether or not they're moving. And now the radar comes up. So at this point, Snuggle Base in a slightly tougher position to scout up. But as long as their fleas remain static, they will still see what they need to see. Kshatriya, interestingly, going for warriors very early on. I question this. Warriors are good, but they are kind of overkill. Oops. The thing is, Rockos work fine against Venoms. Glaives work really well against most things. Warriors do work okay, but for their cost and their speed, it's not going to be great. However, they are building Glaives. Kshatriya is building Glaives, too. It's just Kshatriya needs to make sure that when they build stuff, they're thinking about what they... The fact that the matchup is not really the best for Warriors... I've never really seen them use very much. For the most part, whatever you could use Glaives on, like getting rid of Fleas... Sorry, Warriors on, like getting rid of Fleas and, and Raiders in general. The Glaives do just fine. But at this point, Snuggle Base is taking pretty commanding lead on the map. They haven't even taken much map controls, but they have taken the center. Being very aggressive about that. No static defense there. Their commander is level 1 with the machine gun attachment. Kshatriya's commander... No attachments yet. No modules, no upgrades. Which is all the same thing. But a bit of harassment just to keep Snuggle Base on their toes a bit. Not going to do much good though. These glaives... Yeah, the machine gun's putting them down. Although, twice as many glaives and that would have been basically death. Snuggle Base's commander would probably have gone down. And Kshatria looks like they're going to be going for sides instead. I'm not sure... I don't think they really understand the cloaky spider matchup. I mean, part of me thinks that they do, because the size will allow them to get into the into the Venoms really quick and easily. But Rocco's usually are what you use for that. So I'm not really sure what their plan is, especially since now they've been spotted. I mean, the size have been spotted, the Venoms know they're there. The Venoms know that it's sides that are there, so splitting up to make sure that they can deal with them. And I'm kind of surprised Snuggle Base did not set up fleas all along here. Why not set up fleas up here? That would have been really powerful. But no, they haven't done that. They are ever going to set... No, not going to set the Venoms in their commander, but they they should have set fleas here. That's the thing. I mean, Kshatra is defending. But Snuggle Base isn't out-expanding them, because that's the thing. Snuggle Base... Snuggle Base can kind of out-expand them, because Kshatra is clearly afraid. They don't want to move out too much. But that's not me taking advantage of, and... That's actually giving Kshatriya a pretty hefty economic lead right now. Snuggle Base just about lost their commander, too. Had they lost that, that would have been huge. Both players are accessing, however, so the economic lead 
in both cases is kind of irrelevant. Snuggle Base does have workers in the factory, though. Kshatria does not. They have some workers near their factory. This Conjurer desperately... This should be building, assist building right now. I know I didn't ask Kshatria how to pronounce the name before the cast. I'm guessing. But Kshatria is... Yeah, they're expanding on one side. They're starting to expand along the eastern side. Like, expand along the north. Now expanding along the east. Snuggle Base hasn't really expanded along the south too much. They're... Snuggle Base is also trying to expand along the west, in the northwest area. But Snuggle Base has not expanded along the southeast, so Kshatriya is going to have a commanding lead in the economy pretty quickly. Snuggle Base does have some reclaim to work with, which is good, but they won't last forever. But that flea, those fleas should have been set up at the beginning of the game. But that's the thing you do on this map with spiders. You set up fleas around everything. Because, like I said, Kshatriya is scared. I mean, look at all these defenses here. Uh, granted, this is actually a pretty important thing to defend to begin with, but still, there are a lot of defenses there. Snuggle Base had, has had plenty of time to expand. I mean, they've got the center. Rather, Snuggle Base has the center pretty hard. And once again, going Heavy Venom. I mean, they've gone... Okay, Crab's being built by Snuggle Base, but Snuggle Base... I, mean, I was showing a game between Snuggle Base and Lori, and Snuggle Base was going... I believe it was Snuggle Base playing Spiders. And they were going pure Venom, and they're just doing it again. I don't understand why they're not... The, the, the Spider Factory is based on Synergy. It's based really heavily on Synergy. Yeah, it was Snuggle Base on Spiders. But, they, but Snuggle Base had gone for pure Venom, and they lost. They lost because they just got... They didn't put enough defenses around. They didn't have the... I mean, there's no Synergy for the Venoms. Snuggle Base just lost that game because they basically didn't have anything to adapt with when stuff went against Venoms. And it's about to. Kshatriya has the Rockos. Rockos pretty much counter Venoms. Now, Venom Hermit works pretty well, and Venom Flea works pretty well against Rockos. But Pure Venom? No. Pure Venom is going to be completely destroyed by this. The only upside being the static defenses that Kshatriya just walked into. But even then, Kshatriya is still in a pretty good position right now. And their economic position is only going to get better. The upside for a Snuggle Base being that they have the center... But at this point, Kshatriya could probably probably just bur just barrel through the Venoms. The Fleas are in place, however, so Snuggle Base will be able to get a stronger and stronger position. That's the thing. Kshatriya, the longer they're waiting, the more time it takes them, the harder it is for them to build this up. So getting gunships as well, which against a Venom, Flea, Crab, is probably not a terrible idea. And now Snuggle Base is basically in position. The center basically blocks the snuggle base. Kshatra could possibly go around. I mean, they have the... Kshatra has the southeast. They have the northwest. Snuggle base does not have a strong economic position along the edges. The center is basically belonging to snuggle base, but not the edges in snuggle base. Now just taking some of those center mexes, which I'm a bit surprised at. Kshatra really does have the economic advantage and has had for some time. And a warrior drop. No, a Zeus. Is it a Zeus drop or warrior drop or both? Depends how many Valkyries are made. Gonna guess both. Double drop along here, probably into the back side of the base. Snuggle base with tons of storage. Interestingly enough, I guess they want to power out some stuff. I guess they wanted to power out that first crab. And Kshatra. Yep, this is exactly what's going on. Drop coming in. It's gotta go. It's going around. Snuggle Base will see this coming. But they don't have any tarantulas to deal with this. They have crabs being built up. They've got the Venoms, and the Venoms might st No. Ooh, the Venoms do put a stop to a couple of them. Two of the Valkyries do go down, but everything else gets in. Snuggle Base taking a lot of damage in the main base as a result of this. The factory will probably go down because... Yeah, the factory's going to go down from this. Storages are going down. And... Venoms finally arrive. But this is a huge blow for Snuggle Base. They have no additional factories anywhere on the map. Shatra able to just tear everything apart in the backside of the base. Granted, that wasn't a lot of economic damage, but still a lot of production damage. And the Venoms are taking a lot of damage, too. Most of them are still alive, but now the front line is, in both cases, open. But Shatra coming in, following up with Banshees, try to finish this off. 
At this point, Snuggle Base can't spend what money they have. Ooh, but now the Venom's... Oh, that, that warrior, almost a hero warrior, didn't quite hit that Venom in time. But there weren't a lot of good choices. Regardless, Snuggle Base right now... Basically just going in for what they're hope Sorry, Chatcher going for what they hope to be kill. Snuggle Base not really, but Snuggle Base did finally get some redbacks, and those are proving to be a godsend. But even then, it's only the center. If Kshatriya stays away from the center, then Snuggle Base will probably lose everything. And yes, yeah, Snuggle Base is rebuilding storages. I'm not sure why. Because they lost a lot of... They lost all that stored money. I'm not sure why... Why is Snuggle Base building storages right now? That... Yeah. Scousey pointing out that could have been a caretaker, but even then, it's just, why would you build storages when you don't have money to store? And you have plenty of ways to spend. You have tons of build power. I mean, they have... They have 22.5 build power right here. Or 20... Well, this is 22. 20.5 build power right here in these three spiders. And their commander isn't dead. Snuggle Base still has the commander. That's not going to be a problem. If they'd lost their commander, that would have been an even bigger problem, but it's not. They, Snuggle Base has easily 40 build power on the field. There's no problem to rebuild. I don't know why. The storage storage with you when you don't have enough build power to use the money you have. But the problem for Snuggle Base is they don't have... They don't have unit production, but otherwise they've got plenty of build power. And this crab, that's going down. The second crab was under construction. Now Snuggle Base going for a slightly more reasonable hermit composition, but I think at this point it's too little too late. Once that crab's down, that's a lot of reclaim for Kshatriya. And there should... Oh, was there, no, there's no constructor around here. Oh, there is. There is one constructor, but yeah, at least three or four should go over here. This is 640 metal. Send two or three constructors there, that'll last for a little under a minute. But with the amount of money that'll give you, that's huge. Chatria just needs to reclaim that. The only downside being these two redbacks, they need to be dealt with pretty soon. But if those redbacks can be dealt with, then it's just a pretty simple matter of building up the army and doing one final push. Which for some reason is once again sides. Possibly for another commander snipe, but the commander's gonna go down to these Zeus's. Like these Zeus's, if they could hit the broadside of the barn at least, should be able to take out the commander. The Desperate Static defenses notwithstanding, and even those are not going to be a huge problem. More Zeus coming here to finish this off. The Redbacks will stop the first Zeus, but the next two Zeus will get through. And this... These Hermits are the last ditch. And they do have enough health that the Zeus aren't going to be as big of a threat as they are to basically everything else in the field. But even then, Kshatriya is going to have a bit of a harder time Actually, no. With that, Kshatriya will have a harder time dealing with this. The Hermits... The Hermits will demand a change in strategy. I'm really surprised Snuggle Base did not build Hermits before. I'm genuinely surprised that they were just going so heavily for Crab without building Hermits or Redbacks beforehand. It's good that they build them eventually, but these Hermits, if anything's going to get them back into this game, it's those Hermits. And like I said, Snuggle Base didn't lose much economy. And Kshatra on that reclaim, that's good, but still need more reclaiming there. Yeah, Kshatra... Kshatra isn't quite at an advantageous position totally yet. They're in a strong position, but not the most advantageous of positions. This, however, might change things. This Banshee attack in the south side of the map, yep, that's going to get rid of the Lotuses. That is going to be a problem. But a revenge attack from Snuggle Base in the northwest will get rid of Kshatra's commander, and... Got it. Is that an Infiltrator? I think it was an Infiltrator that did that. Yeah, Kshatriya losing their commander, but even then, Snuggle Base did just lose a big chunk of their economy over to the south. Kshatriya lost a decent chunk of their economy, but distracting Snuggle Base. Kshatriya, with a lot of constructors and a lot of sides, I'm not sure if they really prepare for defense. These Hermits, 1400 health each, the Sharpshooter will one-shot each of them. The Rapiers will be of some use, but the Rapiers have got to be careful because they will get hit. They will get hit pretty hard. The Hermits are not the most inaccurate thing in the world, so yeah, don't don't rely on that. Snuggle Base at this point, they are just pushing their production. Kshatriya is trying to, but they don't have the energy to do so. They're, they are stalling hard on power. They put most of their power plants over to the northwest. With those gone, Kshatriya needs more power plants. Desperately, and they know it. They're building that. They just didn't realize it when they were getting attacked, so this excess metal might... I think it's going to spell their doom. 
Snuggle Base regrouping in a double flank attack, which will be able to take out Kshatriya. Assuming Kshatriya can't fix that power situation sooner rather than later. And it looks like even then, Kshatriya going for heavy for Glaze against Hermits. Not what I would recommend. Rockas work pretty well. And that's... Yeah, otherwise... Yeah, Rocka Warrior actually is one of the times where Warriors would be of some use. Rocka Warrior would work pretty well against this. The low fire rate of Hermits combined with the fact that they don't deal a huge amount of damage. 141 damage. That takes about 5 or 6 shots to get rid of one Warrior. But only 2 shots to get rid of a Rocko. So the Warriors can tank while the Rockos tear them apart. And the Warriors still deal the damage because it is a group. And a tick. Yeah, so guys putting out a tick would also be very useful. Never underestimate... Ed Never underestimate the power of a tick. You are playing Pokebot Factory. Ticks are your friend. They're your best friend in the world. And actually would be extremely useful right now. These things are clumped. The Hermits are just clumped up. And that reclaim is not quite done, but still a decent amount of reclaim was taken from that crab. But now with the reclaim gone, Kshatra is losing their economy. Snuggle Wake's getting back into this. Kshatra really lost this. If they're... Oh, yeah, they basically lost this. They really lost this because, I mean, that that was a big drop, but they didn't really take advantage of it. They went back to sneaky tactics. They didn't really consider when their opponent would rebuild because they didn't damage the economy much. And after damaging the economy, well, that was after the massive rebuild of Hermits. No ticks, no warriors, no Rockos. Going heavy on Glaive, and that's not how you deal with this. But that is going to give the game back to Snuggle Base. That was a really nice drop, though. That was a very nice Valkyrie... Well, Valkyrie usage. Very nice Warrior Zeus drop. Warrior Zeus drops are a powerful thing. But yeah, that is Snuggle Base taking that game from Kshatra. Rather taking victory from the Jaws of Defeat there, because Snuggle Base did... I mean, that was a lot of pressure on their main base. But yeah, the lack of... The fact that the commander was still alive helped, because that provided a bit more money. The fact that the economy was still strong also helped a ton. And... I mean, ultimately, it just came down to Kshatriya not considering the next attack. Because that was a bit of a desperate move. They dropped in there, dealt a lot of damage, but they didn't consider, well, Snuggle Base will rebuild and throw stuff at me. And I need to rebuild an, a solid army, not size, but something more solid to deal with that. But otherwise, that wasn't... I mean, the Banshees were a good at plan. I think the Banshees... Actually, that was probably the bigger problem. The follow-up Banshees all got slaughtered. That was the problem. They went for the center, where there were just too many redbacks and too much everything. Basically went straight into Snuggle Base's forces, rather than going around the periphery trying to take out what they could. Because with a dozen Banshees, that could have torn apart all of Snuggle Base's economy pretty trivially. Maybe not the commander, but pretty much everything else. Especially with, with Snuggle Base having no production for a brief period. Those Banshees would have been awesome. But yeah, it still is a follow-up force. That's, that's difficult to use well, and it got slaughtered. Also, Skazi pointing out that Banshees do need to retreat to auto repair if you want to use them most effectively, and that is true. Put that chicken on. Anyway, that was the first game. It's already pretty good game, so that's a good sign. Next game is going to be Ikins and Snuggle Base on Vitra. And don't worry, the game after that does not involve Snuggle Base. I've been doing a lot of Snuggle Base recently because Snuggle Base has been playing a lot of games recently. This one will be Ikins versus Snuggle Base on Vitra. So stay tuned, it'll be up in just a moment.